Speaking of movies, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom comes out this summer. Yes, it does. Um, what are you most excited for fans to see uh, about Dr. Ian Malcolm's return? Well, um, I haven't seen the whole finished movie yet, so I've finished in like three or four weeks, you know. But, you know, I read the script, I know what's going on, I was on the set, I was, uh, you know, worked with J.A. Bayona, who's a wonderful director, directed When a Monster Calls and uh, The Impossible and The Orphanage. Wonderful, passionate, interesting, great director. Um, well, my, my character is, uh, you see him, as you see him in the trailer a little bit, in front of a, a congressional hearing a governmental body who wants to hear from me on the subject of the current situation with dinosaurs and this and that. I still have a wry sense of humor, I suppose, and my own individual ways, but uh, I'm very passionate about adherence to science and, um, and devotion to facts and to human curiosity and investigation and my resistance to those who would exploit scientific achievement for profit or for militaristic power or leverage, I, I, I will fight them with tooth and nail, you know. What, what do you kind of imagine he's been doing since we last saw him in Jurassic Park? Well, we last saw me in that second movie with Julianne Moore and Vince Vaughn and my daughter. I'll bet I've gotten very close to my daughter and made sure that she had a life that is as miraculous and magical as I would have ever hoped for her. Um, and I think after having gone through an experience with dinosaurs and life and death, I'm deeply grateful to be here at any moment and, and um, I've been deepened in some compassionate ways probably. But, um, but I'm very, I'm very uh, you know, hot on this uh, science stuff, you know. Can't wait. No, so can't good, wait. Good.